Good morning. Um, I got out of bed later, my latest since I've been on trail because it's been, it was so cold and it's so windy. We have winds up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. And it's kind of been like that the last three days. And so, kind of exhausted. My plan was to make it to another 15 mile or shelter, but I don't know if my body can do that today. So, I might take it easy today and then see what I can do the next couple days to get out of the Smokies by Saturday. Yeah, I just don't know. It's... The weather is cold, but like I said, once you start hiking, you sweat, and you don't want to sweat in cold weather because once you stop and the wind hits your sweat, it's so cold. So yesterday and the day before, keeping my puffy really close and just trying to make it out of the Smokies. I'm enjoying the Smokies. It's beautiful, but the weather's brutal. It really is. It's May and there's frost. Some guy's water bottle froze overnight last night and it's May. So if you think about starting your through hike in April, bring your warm clothes because the Smokies are still, it's going to be below freezing in the Smokies. Man, and today I'm reaching the highest point on the Appalachian Trail, which, which kind of makes sense that maybe I'm out of breath, out of oxygen a little bit, but yeah, anyways, as always, I'm rambling, I'm just trying to stay warm here, but Right now, it's kind of like a little different ecosystem. It's like pine trees, which I haven't really seen on the Appalachian Trail. So it's kind of nice, but I'll film once I get to Klingman's Dome. And hopefully we have a nice view. It looks like we will. It'll be windy, but it looks like a nice view. Well, bye for now. I realized something while I was at Clemen, Clemen's Dome. Um, I'm not eating enough. I, I just realized my meals at maximum are like 600 calories. And that's just not enough, especially now since I'm doing over 10 mile days. That's just not enough calories. And one of the reasons why I'm feeling absolutely like poor is because I'm, I'm I'm not eating enough, and I should have realized that when I had a really good day um, after on Sunday when I had a crappy McDonald's breakfast. Um, I, but the thing is, I had enough calories in that breakfast. Sure, it was 800 or 900 calories, but that's what I need. I, I need like a thousand calorie meal plus thousand calorie of snacks per day. So I'm just, the 500, 600 calorie meals that I thought was good, I need, I need way more calories. So I wasn't going to stop in Gatlinburg, but 
and now I am. I arranged um, my, thankfully, I got service at the top of Cleanman's Dome and asked my mom to reserve me um, a room tonight in Gatlinburg because I'm not, my food supply is not going to cut it to get me out of the smoky by Saturday because it's just not enough food. And I've also been noticing myself, I'm feeling like absolutely tired. My eyelids are shutting when I'm hiking and that's not good. So I'm going to eat some good meals while I'm in Gatlinburg because I just, I, I know I've said this a million times, but I just need the calories to get me, get me by. And then I'll start feeling a whole lot better. So anyway, this is kind of rocky terrain, so I'll let you go. So it's Wednesday, all right? All this was supposed to make it to uh, Saturday. I don't know what I was thinking. This is what I was talking about with the not enough calories. This is only 220 calories. This is probably 150. And then the coffee is no calories. So, this isn't even like 400 calories. This is what I was having for breakfast only. Um, I ate all my snacks. I was starving. And then I have, I was only eating this in a tortilla for lunch. And one tortilla is, so two tortillas, two tortillas is 170. So I was only having one tortilla with a peanut butter and jelly packet for lunch. Um, and here's the rest of my pistachios. Uh, at least that has a lot of calories in it. Um, but yeah, this 70 calories. This 70 calories. And this mac and cheese right here is probably not, not even 300 calories. So I don't know what I was thinking, um, but Obviously, I need more calories. This is like 200 calories. This pea soup that I split. Why, 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 did, I, why, why did I even do that? Anyways, not enough calories at all. I need like two of these things. That's what I need for breakfast. That's what I need. And you know what? Why not? Two coffees for breakfast. Because why not? Anyway, so... Yeah, need a resupply, and I had some awesome trail magic. Um, I got a free ride into Gatlinburg. Awesome people. Uh, Dawn and Aaron, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. They gave me a few snacks because I told them my hung hiker hunger came in, and they gave me some snacks. They gave me something else. Oh, here. They gave me that, too. So, <sighs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, so yeah, this was not going to last until Saturday at all. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. But anyway, so yeah, let's go and grab some food. Okay, so I got some items. I got these Nature Valley oatmeal squares. Um, kind of for breakfast. Like I said, I, I have to start doubling up on my breakfasts breakfast bars because this alone is 480 calories um with this we'll make almost 600 almost so I, I need like I said I just need to start eating more 
And then so for the next day, I'm grabbing two of these. These are 150, so that's 300, 400. That, that's still not enough, but I'm usually not too hungry in the morning, but I still need to eat something. And then um, just in case I'm hungry by midday, I have, I have these extra since I just need to get to Saturday. That, that's it. Um, the rest of my pistachios. Um, I love um, dried mango. So good. Um, if I need some more protein, I bought these protein. Uh, these like beef sticks. Yeah, beef strips here. Uh, here's another one. And then here's what Dawn and uh, Aaron gave me. Thank you. Um, what else did I get? I got some more cheese sticks because I have some leftover tomato paste and pepperoni to make a wrap. And then I have three, I have three wraps left. So I can make two and then a peanut butter thing. And these are actually just good straight out of the package. So if I'm still like hungry after like my peanut butter thing, I'll just eat this because I'll just eat anything at this point. More the snacks, same snacks that John and Aaron gave me. Uh, you know me. I have my gummies. Gummy bears. I love these peach rings on trail. And then I got gummy worms. Anything gummy is going down my gullet. And then since this is only 300 calories, um, I found I never had these Lenny and Larry cookies um, because I was just never working out enough to eat. But yeah, it's at 420 calories in one cookie. So I'm just going to pair that with that. And this makes like a 700, 700 calorie meal right there. Uh, and then kind of same goes for this 700 calorie meal. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I guess I'll eat that later. Um, I, I can't, I just can't wait to try that, but I, I gotta get rid of this. I'm not a big fan. Um, it's good, but you know, I, I wouldn't. Split pea soup, it's good. It, it's good, but just, I prefer something else. Other, in other words. So, anyway, so that's my resupply. Just getting, just beefing up my, uh, calorie intake just with snacks and I know it's sugary. I know it's sugary, but I the only thing I had was a Walgreens and it was kind of limited supply this time. I just needed I just needed some more calories because um I'm working out again in other words, but um yeah, hopefully this will be much better. <laughs> Bye. So, I'm at the hotel here in Gatlinburg. Um, sorry, I, I didn't um, really come to Gatlinburg for the touristy stuff. Honestly, if there was just a small town with even like a rinky-dinky campground, cabin thing, kind of like what I did in Robinsonville with a Dollar General, I still would have went into town. Um, so I'm not really here for the touristy stuff. Um, I've been to Gatlinburg before, so I'm, I'm not really going to give a tour. Uh, you guys can probably find tours all over YouTube for Gatlinburg, um, but it's cute. It's a cute town. It's it's a tourist town. All right, it's a tourist trap. Okay, so but anyways, I, I kind of wanted to talk about um, uh, just people I've run into, people that I think I've impacted so far, and I believe there's uh, you know one person watching this YouTube channel who wants to do that Appalachian Trail and who is Catholic and um, is worried about getting to Mass. If I could just impact one person or one church community that, you know, we are out there. Uh, Catholics are out there. Catholics are missing Mass. Um, 
one purposely because um, they feel like they are somehow exempt um, or two they just don't think it's possible or three they just straight up cannot get a ride from a um, if somebody from a parish so um, if I can impact at least one of those three categories I I think documenting this is worth it is worth it that's the word i'm looking for so but in anyways um along the trail um i've actually run into one guy who um you know it's not ideal but when we were at fontana he actually downloaded a church live stream and watched it on sunday now like i said that's not ideal but for somebody just getting back into church i think i think that's really good um that you know, I didn't make that impact with him, and I was just really casual about it, and, you know, just stating, like, you know what, if you're a Christian, you know, we should respect what the Lord commands us to do, and the commandment is, you know, honor the Sabbath day, at least one day, you know, a week, which, you know, the day of rest, Sunday, so start it he's going to start live streaming so like I said that's not um, you know the best but it's something and if I could just like um, and that's just one guy and so if I could just get people to start thinking about you know our Lord and just pretty much respecting him you know he created this world that we live in and we should really respect respect that and give thanks and praise to him because um you know we are alive um life is a blessing and we should enjoy it and we should enjoy it but we should also give our gratitude to our, our lord and savior but i just wanted to add this little clip in and uh, just say if I can impact, you know, just one person from a little small community. I don't have many subscribers and that's not really my goal um, if I get, you know, many people. But like I said, if, if I just impact one person, it's totally worth putting these videos out. Anyways, um, I'll try to film. <laughs> Some more again. I'm I'm really trying to get in the groove, and probably as the days go on, I'll get better at filming and taking out my phone when I get faster and and all the all the sort of stuff. So, anyways, bye for now.